I would say that you just don't give up. Even if it takes you 30 years, Gauguin was a post, postal employee, and then he went to Tahiti, and look what happened to him. Whether it takes you three years, 30 minutes, three months, it doesn't matter as long as you have within your universe something that sustains you every day until your goal is met and you have achieved your dream. And sometimes it does take 30 years. And sometimes it takes three minutes. And sometimes it takes three years. And sometimes it takes three months. It's not time that matters. It's the quality of work, the quality of the vision, and the quality of the dream. So I would say to the student that says, oh, I can't wait 30 years, you can. Just keep on working. I really try to have students focus on themselves, focus on what you have to say, and that becomes your identity, that becomes your style, that becomes your DNA. I never thought I was going to be a fashion designer. In fact, I, I never even thought of it as a career. I made clothes. I made clothes since I was a child. Since I was eight years old, I learned to sew. So sewing was a passion that I did no matter what. And I was always very skinny, so I needed to make clothes for myself because I didn't like what was out there. So um, it's something that I always did. And then as far as school, I really went for art and not fashion. And then I went to intern at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And at the costume department, I got introduced to fashion because that's when I learned all about the Viones and the Balenciagas and the Madame Grays. I mean, that was a learning experience for me. That was my schooling. I used to restore a lot of the, uh, a lot of the, of the pieces for the exhibits. Every time they were going to have a new show, I would work on all the, the rest restoration. And I got to see fashion, and I tell students all the time, I learned about fashion from the inside out. I didn't know who they were. I was just exposed to the, to the make of these beautiful masterpieces. First of all, I don't, I don't consider art a career. I never thought of art as a career. It's a passion. Um, if you clear that hurdle, and if you allow yourself to be that brave to think of art as a pure passion, then you can only be successful because you're doing something you love. So sooner or later, come, come hither or twither, you're, you're going to be successful because sincerity is always successful, you know? People are always looking for the sincere and the human and the hand touch. So I think, they, uh, uh, especially for parents, it would be scary if your kid wants to be an artist because there's almost, there's no safety net to catch him if he falls, right? So there's this instinct to, to, to mother them or to protect them or father them. But I think they have to just be free and let them pursue their passion, even if they don't get it, even if the parent doesn't get it. You have to let your kid be, go, go off and fly. They'll, they'll be all right.